Hello, my name is Cory Tendo, and today is my birthday. Yeah, I am 91 years old. I was born in Harlem, Holland, the Netherlands. Many years ago, I promised someone very special that I would share what you are about to see. And now I am keeping that promise. I want to tell you a story. A story of love and honor. Of war and what hate can do. But it is also a story about faith. The kind of faith that brings freedom to the heart. My father, my dear papa, he was Caspar Tenbaum. He was a watchmaker in Holland, a simple man who set the example of faith and love for his family that would hold us like an anchor in the storm when the time would come and we would have to walk into hell itself. My dear sister Betsy and I saw terrible atrocities which claimed many innocent lives in the Nazi concentration camp. But I learned that every experience and every person that you meet is the perfect preparation for a future which only God can see. We saw people find hope in the worst darkness. Betsy said, we must tell others. And so now, I tell you. flowers and cards from everyone and this big package just arrived for you it must be signed by all of Holland let's read the card to Gr Harlem's grand old man Casper Ten Boom rich in faith and rich in friends with love and congratulations on your shop's 100th anniversary what an extravagant gift for such a poor family, what riches for us. 
again with the rich. I have my riches right here. These are my riches, eternal blessings, not gold or silver, nothing I've stored. And someday a mansion waits for me, cause where your treasure is, you'll find your pleasure is, where your treasure is, is where Are you really 100 years old? <laughs> <laughs> we should enjoy the gathering while we can because the man in Germany is talking about things that could lead to war. But he promises to unite the country and to bring some change to Holland too. But he says we will all prosper and there will be order. Yeah, Jan Vogel, he says many things. But as of right now, the Jews are being gathered up and taken to who knows where? My sister in Berlin took in a Jewish orphan whose parents simply vanished. Your sister should get rid of that child or she too might vanish. She risks much for one Jewish orphan. She could lose her life. To lose my life for such a child would be a great honor for my family. Who are these young men? Hoodlums, hooligans, I say. The police will get them, you'll see. Yes, Germany is a civilized country. Many young men are now wearing that emblem of the new idealism, a swastika. Yeah, but young people are always curious about a new philosophy. My friend Hans has joined them, Grandfather. He said soon it will be against the law to sing our national anthem. Oh. oh, no. We must not be too quick to draw the sword. The best weapon is prayer. Even a child can see that we should take action against these enemies in our midst. Are we to just close our eyes to what's going on around us? Opa, Grandfather, I can hear you tick. That reminds me, Grandfather. Are you ready for my song now? Yes, Peter, I am ready. <laughs> Since I was just a little lad, there's been a place that makes me glad. I love to sit on my grandfather's knee. Inside his coat were always many watches. I listen close to hear their takes and toxins. Grown-ups bring their watches to be fixed. But children come to hear how Papa ticks. <laughs> like this. Tick tock, 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 was pressing my ear to grandfather's vest. The watches would sing as merrily as could be. Oh, I loved hearing the sound of the cuckoos he wound and watching the Swiss wheels spinning around. Each little chime, a magical time for me. We would listen with elation to the joyful syncopation to the tick-tock. Here's the same sweet melody. Oh, Papa's got time. Papa tips, Papa tips. He's always got time. Papa tips, Papa tips. No matter how busy, he's always got time for me. Papa gives grace. Papa tips, Papa tips. To each little face. Papa tips, Papa tips. Like the watches he wound, he's the merriest sound to me. The minutes and hours sing About one 
man's work and one man's life. Loving his family, loving his wife. Nothing his friends and neighbors would like. He'll give you the shirt right off of his back. Papa's got time and ticks, Papa and ticks. Yes, he's always got time for me. Many came to honor our Papa that day. Looking back, I believe it was meant to be that Mama should not live to suffer what would happen to Papa beyond his special day. In 1937, what was happening in Germany so close by was on everyone's mind. How could we know then that terror and heaven were just around the corner, even for our beloved Papa, Harlem's grand old man. Did you know that I was the first woman who became a licensed watchmaker in Holland? Oh, did that sound prideful? Well, it's true. One day, Papa hired a young man named Otto. Watches he knew, but people, not so much. Papa, I'm concerned about that young man you've hired. Otto? He's always talking about the Hitler youth and how he hates our ways. He's young, Corey, and far from home. I hope. You're late today, Otto. I am here. Maybe you'll come early tomorrow while we're still reading. Oh, over here, Willem. In the New Order, we are not required to read such drivel. I see. Drivel. The Bible is for old men. You are a good watchmaker, Otto, but you could learn some wisdom from older people. Father, we must talk. I just spoke with our neighbor, Miss Rinker, and she says that she's seen Otto harassing Christophus many days on his way to work. Look, this is what happens of oh. your face being ground into the bricks in the alleyway. Oh. Is this true, Otto? Christoffels? Otto will be old one day. He will learn. We learn important things from our leader. New ways. You'll see. Yes, we see. This harassment is deliberate. The old have no value to the state here. They're also harder to train in their new ways of thinking. Hitler is systematically teaching disrespect for older people. But I'm older than Christoffels. But Father... You are also his boss. It is those that they consider weak that they plan to eliminate. Unnecessary people should not be allowed to keep others from progressing. Surely you do not believe these things, Otto. Have you no compassion? God loves you, Otto, but he loves others also. God is what fools dream up to make themselves think they have power over their lives. Our fewer is God enough for me. There is power to change the world. The weak have no place in it. I will pray for you, Otto, but now you must leave this place. Hi, Hitler! <sighs> Papa, how could he be so careless? Otto's blind. 
He believes in this Hitler as his God. <sighs> if only Otto could know the one we believe. Lord, what more could I have said? Father, please forgive him. Hate and lies bewitch his soul. His heart is cold. Only you can reach him. You have the power to right every wrong. Trusting in you, the weak become strong and free. Help him believe. Show him your love, your mercy and grace. Power to change the world. Fools, how could they be so blind? Mind Fuhrer, I am waiting. Fools, they trust in fairy tales. My patience fails. Soon your hand will teach them. You have the power to right every wrong. No more the weak, only the strong will be. Soon they will see. Crush every fool, show them in this your hour Power to change the world Little more than a child, Satan rises to claim Let his heart see your truth and believe in your name Little minds can't conceive what's in store for them now. Every Jew to the child, they'll be sorry, I vow. Lord, you have the power to right every wrong. I feel your power will right what is wrong. Trusting in you, the weak become strong. No more the weak, only the strong will be. Mein Führer, I believe every word you say. Oh, Lord, help him believe you. Soon they will see your power and might. Show him your love, your mercy and grace. Power to change. who screams at them. There's so many hungry people in Germany now. But people need hope, not this Hitler. He will starve their souls. Corey, two more Jews came to the house today seeking refuge. What did you do with them? What could I do? They have no ration cards. I fed them. They're upstairs. I will call Willem, and he will know what to do. Hitler seems to be on every station. We must help the Jews to be safe from him. What does this screamer have against them? My countrymen, Our Prime Minister. you oh. need not fear. We shall not be attacked by any of the countries fighting in this war. They have The Prime Minister is wrong to be giving people false hope. Queen Wilhelmina has already left the country. Oh! There will be war. Germany will attack us, and we shall be beaten. But God will not be beaten. I am sorry for anyone who does not know to trust him now. Good night, my dears. Oh, 
Betsy, what if Papa is right? What if our prime minister? You know, with God, there are no ifs. Everything changed that night. For five days, the bombs fell around us. As weeks passed by, I saw that wagon many times, just like in my dream. Jewish neighbors being taken away in it. Oh, I prayed so hard. You know, the Bible tells us that God owns cattle on a thousand hills. So I said to him, Lord, if you want me to help these Jewish people, we are going to need some money. So you are going to have to sell some cows. <laughs> Papa, where are you going? If our friends are asked to declare their Jewishness, I am going to go and stand with them. But, but Father, you, you are not a Jew. Their God is my God, too. Aunt Cory, why are they taking all the radios? <laughs> to keep people from hearing the truth, child. Will we not have our girls club anymore? Oh, surely this will all be over soon. I'm afraid, Aunt Cory. Do not fear, do not fear. God is here, God is here, just as He said He would be. Pray for strength and courage now, and you will see the key to this dark moment is God's love for us. Even through these times we must believe. So no matter what you hear, there's no need to fear. He's all the strength you need. When storm clouds seem to threaten, He's our hiding place. Trust in Him no matter what may be. He will be your closest friend. He promised to the end. He's all the strength you need. The times may separate us and darkness comes as night. God's love will never fail us as truth can never lie. Remember in our weakness, He is strong. Just Fix your eyes on Jesus, that's where your heart belongs. And do not fear, do not fear, God is here, God is here, just as He said He would be. Pray for strength and courage now. He's all the strength you need. He's all the strength you need. Yes. 
Professor Mosel. Too Jewish. He'll need a new name. He reminds me of a monk I read about in a book named Eusebius. Hmm. Me? A cantor? A monk? Hmm. hmm. Eusebius Mosel. Eusebius Gentile Mosel. <laughs> no, we must change both names. How about Smith? <laughs> so many Smiths these days. <laughs> Eusebius Smith, that will do. But we will call you UC. You see, I am Hank. I'm a good lawyer. <laughs> Should you have any trouble with the authorities? <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your provision. Protect us tonight from evil. Amen. Amen. What is this wonderful smell? Well, you see, food is hard to come by. So we have bread and potatoes and uh, pork sausage. Oh, but I have always eaten kosher. Uh, bon appetit. Well, I I'm sure there's a provision for this in the, in the Talmud. Mm. Oh, and I will find it as soon as we are done eating. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a, a cantor, uh, Professor uh, Smith? Oh, well, my father was a cantor, and I've been singing scripture since I was a small boy. Uh, uh. Uh, what, it, what is that? What do I do? You will learn tomorrow, but it's only a practice run. Practice? To get into the hiding place, a secret room upstairs. 47 seconds. That's the fastest time yet. You are a Christian, Ten Boom. So why do you risk your lives bringing the Jews into your house? Are you a bleeding heart? Maybe you think you will get to heaven by hiding us Jews. No, surely no one can earn their way into heaven, you see. I have only trusted God to provide a way, and I believe he has. It's an honor to do what I can to keep you and others from being murdered by this darkness that has invaded our lives. I have long wondered, Ten Boom. Casper, please. May I ask then, Casper, what makes you so confident that this Jesus of yours is the one my people have been waiting for our whole lives? Are we able to discuss this age-old argument openly? Well, I don't see why not. Who knows if we will even be alive tomorrow? Let us be candid with one another. Ancient prophets said he would be servant, lord, and savior, a man who would be God with us on earth. In Bethlehem, a virgin girl would bear a special son. Lion of David, lion of Judah, prince of peace he'd be. God's chosen sacrifice, the one he'd raise to life, Messiah. Ancient writings told he would do miracles and healings, proclaiming his salvation first to Jews, then every nation, and to all who would believe he was God's one and only Son. Resurrection. Our hope is in Messiah, he will bring us peace forever. His sword will fell our enemies on earth. Delivering with power and might, he'll set our people free. Heaven's warrior, our redeemer, everlasting king. We wait what prophets tell, the hope of Israel, Messiah. 
ancient prophets said he would be conqueror almighty bringing his salvation to the jews his holy nation no he won't forget his promise to a child of abraham resurrection lechaim yes to long life to life in hell Told fulfilling prophecies of old A child was born, a virgin cried In Bethlehem she gave him life People saw no guile in him He healed the blind, the lame, the sick He spoke of love and raised the dead They placed a crown upon his head Yes, some would hate and cause to bleed this one you say would set men free Yet you believe he was and is Messiah If he was God, how could he die? The Lamb of God, his sacrifice Yes, 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 I've heard all this Oh, Tin Boom, my friend. Believe or not, I've read your gospel and the words that Jesus said. But I would ask him face to face, how can a man believe such grace? That God would send one man to die, one life for such as I. What kind of love would cover me? And nail my sins upon a tree Oh, if only that were true But a God who died for me and you I've tried my best to keep God's law Yet you believe this man fulfilled it all No, 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 so tell me how could one man's death satisfy the sins of all the world unless he was God? Or was this Jesus just a man or a thorny part of God's own plan? And yet I see God's love in you. How could such grace be true? This is the hope of my people Resurrection That we might too be raised to life Resurrection News isn't good. One of our guests, <coughs> Yap, was arrested tonight. Oh no. He will be made to talk. So we're going to need to be extremely careful <coughs> from now on. Corey. Corey. Please go to bed before you give us all influenza. <sighs> it's, it's Jan Vogel. We know him. Uh, I'll see what he wants. Herr Vogel? Oh, Miss Ten Boom. I'm sorry to bother you, but I need your help. My wife is Jewish, 
and I need 600 guilders to get her to freedom, or she will go to prison. Can you help? <coughs> Can you hide her here? I don't know what to do. Uh, Herr Vogel, you must come back later. <coughs> Herr Vogel? Herr Vogel? Something is not right. How do we handle this? God will show us. But now I must go up and lie down. I have come back for your answer. But I have not had time to... Where are you hiding the Jews? I don't know what Search to Search upstairs. Say. Identify yourselves, all of you. Who are you, old man? I brought her slurring to discuss... Discuss what? Arrest all these people. Take them all away. And anyone else who comes near this place. Let's go, Schnell. And seal up the house. Surround me with songs of deliverance Lord, give me the treasures of darkness Hidden riches of secret places That I may know that you, O oh Lord Which call me by my name the God of Israel you promised in the time of trouble in the secret of your tabernacle you will hide me oh God my soul's afraid to breathe Deliver them Deliver me Father, be My heart 